guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 1 and 2 of Squid Girl. BTW, I know nothing, absolutely nothing about this. This was a show um, that has been on my Patreon watch list, I think, for um, a while now. And so I remembered somebody requesting this i forgot because when you have so many people asking you stuff and you're also busy with a whole bunch of other stuff you tend to kind of forget and so um someone else also requested this kind of basically doing some edge this is that and the third and stuff so the person who also requested the previous show also requested this and stuff and i was like okay cool i was like finally in a way i get to watch it but yeah i have no idea what the heck this is gonna be about um which is awesome. I, I love that. But I'm a little curious. <laughs> I, I hope that this is comedy, but still a little bit of fun as skin to it. Not fun. Um, comedy, but serious in it, where we have some serious tones. And it seems like we might get that. We might get like a little bit of like, oh shit, it's gonna get real situations. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three two one hold on and three two one go well there's water all over the place of course oh, oh there's a fish Oh, well, damn, we're just go. Oh, okay. Oh, she cute. Well, I can already tell this is going to be a fan service anime. Kind of, probably. This is only like the first few. I like, I feel so bomb. Hungry. Oh. <laughs> well, she made her grand entrance. Damn, already. That and where's your mom and dad? <laughs> nice me to Ika. She doesn't really take you seriously.
We doing that. Oh my god, this is gonna make me feel bad. I already feel bad about the world and ish. But like, oh, this is gonna make me really feel bad. <laughs> she cute though. She kind of gives me like art style wise and this could maybe be by the same person who made the anime um not the anime the manga but then this could also be the same studio who did this um Azuma Dayo studio whoever animated Azuma uh, Dayo <laughs> there we go is exactly why I can never work. <gasps> no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is also why I could never work in food service. Like, I, I like working exactly where I work. <laughs> She's right. Like, oh my god. Oh, she is like literally taking it. She might be the queen of the right now. <laughs> You're gonna make yourself dizzy. Oh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. You literally just destroyed the wall and guess he's gonna have to fix that. Yeah, they're her tentacles, you know. Hold on, but damn.
I know, and now you're working for him. Um, incoming pervert. No. Hmm. You know, someone was definitely staring at you. And now they following you. Oh, not the hair, not the hair! Kid, what the hell? He should be dead. And there she goes. Mm -hmm. Ah, cause you know, yeah, cause she's squid girl. Swear to God, if this, like, when this comes out next week for everybody else on YouTube, if a week later this ends up a Nico Nico. <laughs> Florida. Oh, 
shit. Pour one out for the G. <laughs> I'm gonna choke. Bruh! Yo! Are you serious? Yeah, you did a good job. I cannot. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't. Oh, this show gonna make me fucking laugh. Like, ooh. It might be worse of like when I did, um, <laughs> freaking Ninja Joe all those years ago. No, I think she's just like a friend of your hers. Oh. Honestly, like for a moment I kinda thought she was your girlfriend. Yeah, she was really really the nice one out of you three. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, you're about to sneeze. Oh! Is that really good? Kind of want to try that. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't think anybody will eat you, Inca. Like, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's raining today, like it was earlier today here in Florida. <laughs> Leave Echo alone, damn. <laughs> Between her, Laura, and that one other character, I literally cannot think about. No, it, it's her. <laughs> Between Inka, Laura from Tropical Rouge, Freddy Care, and um, I think it's Yui <laughs> from Delicious Party. <laughs> the facial expressions are top tier. <laughs> and then also Suma from Demon Slayer. <laughs>
on, baby. <laughs> Are your tentacles gonna grow back though? Okay, your hair? Mm-hmm, there you go. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, she thought. Uh, okay. Echo like, nah, nah, I'm good. Uh oh. Is it good? Oh, damn. I mean, shouldn't you guys get her? Oh. Yeah, you really don't want to piss Chisadu off. Oh, is she trying? <laughs> Okay, so first initial thoughts on this. I really like this. Like, oh, God. I think this is something, um, I think for Patreon things that I needed after watching a lot of um, <clears throat> very dramatic ones of animes and stuff with requests. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I love when anybody requests is, like, really good, dramatic, sad, or even, you know the entirety of the Monogatari series or even Bakuman and such. This was cute. Like, hella fucking cute. This gives me feels to a lot of other type funny comedy as animes that I've seen. Um, Inka, like, it seems like she probably is, and it, probably even by the way of this, like, possibly how big this anime got when this came out, whatever, how many years ago. Um, probably now, she'd probably be like a big... <laughs> If this came out now, this girl would be a fucking meme. A straight up fucking meme. Like, we all know Laura from Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure is now, like, fucking meme material. Like, okay, no. Anything in any anime and also including Pretty Cure is a fucking meme. You can use that shit for anything and just be like, here, meme it up. But <laughs> the facial expressions from Inca alone... Oh my god, child. Like, I feel like I might end up posting pictures, like, a, a day after I go to work or, like, my week in a nutshell. Like, if I had to watch this last week and going into this week, oh, <laughs> oh, I probably would have used some pictures as, like, my, my week, <laughs> my work week in a nutshell. Or, like, my work day, because, like, yesterday I had the, well, no, by the time you guys see this, it'll be Saturday. So, Thursday, I had the worst day ever, and if you follow me on Twitter, I did, like, a voice memo, and my friend thought I was doing something else, so I was like, no, I went off, I was pissed, I was irritated with some people, and I, you know how, like, when you're just, you, you feel like a ticking time bomb? That is how I felt <laughs> yesterday and such, and it was so freaking hilarious, because I was just, oh, it was too, it was too much, way too much, but thank God I got over it. But I, I think, yeah, like, you know, <clears throat> it go to do, and their younger brother, like, it, they're, it, it's adorable. The younger brother trying to, like, be friends with Inka. <laughs> To the point of making a scoot <laughs> <Captain Air. laughs> 
That was the highlight between that and the squinting past. <laughs> like, yeah. like, seriously, I just feel like, yeah, this is going to be one of those funny comedy animes that is going to have me rolling on the floor laughing, laughing so damn hard that my stomach is going to hurt. Um, ish like that, like, with, like, almost, like, what very similar to with, like, Kaguya-sama Love is War, where, like, something really funny happens, and I laugh my ass off to the point where I am, like, over here looking like I'm dying on screen, and it's only because, like, some part in my stomach, like, my muscle has twitched, and I'm like, bruh, I am crying now, everything hurts, but yeah, that's, that's how you know it's really good, and like I said, once again, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking hilarious if I see this on Nico Nico in like two weeks from now and I'm gonna be like well look once again we did it <laughs> I mean cause we did we did it with kimono friends so many years ago and, and who knows like <laughs> how anybody will take this or anything that I do because it always happens someone ends up putting something on either Billy Billy or Nico Nico and I'm like what <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, okay. Episode two and three, two, one, go. I just, I, I literally did not think that the meme that was also used in Tropical Rouge Pretty Gear of Buff Tan Kuranun was from this. <laughs> Ain't that Inca? Yeah, it's Inca. Uh oh. Oh. Oh 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 oh. Hmm? Yeah, she's fine. Their tentacles. <laughs> right. No, you have a crush on her. Oh. 
No. <laughs> if afraid means by having a crush on her, then yes, he is very afraid. Mm-hmm. But to be best friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I fucking can't. This, all right, right there, right there. That's a meme right there. <laughs> like, it, it, it's freaking Yuji. And I think it's Toru. I'd be like, oh my god. I like women with big boobs and big butts. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> It's worse. I'm wearing a Jujutsu Kaisen shirt. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, um, unfortunately, she can't answer that question. <laughs> yeah, like what? That's a chair, you know, for the lifeguards. And then they either hop off or just whatever and they run into the ocean. You know, like. Baywatch. I mean, but you know, Goro is mm, very nice. <laughs> exactly, the kid saved the child. I know. The way she runs. It's a birthday cake. Mm. 
Maybe you should make a bir have a birthday party. Okay. Yeah, I mean, but it, since she doesn't know. still cannot believe they have not fixed that wall it's only the second episode <laughs> the wall jesus let's just hope and pray by the end of season two that whole I really like how detailed the garland is. <laughs> okay, you stay in here. Exactly, people do it for you. Yes. I need to know who she was voiced by. Because <laughs> her voice is familiar. I literally cannot picture who it is, though. Like, yes, good, yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Let's just put a whole bunch of candles. Huh. All right. Make a wish. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. All right, somebody blow the candles off for her, please. Yeah, you know, you can just eat it yourself now. <laughs> yeah. 
No, because Inca has a whole bunch. Pretty, huh? No one else knew you! <laughs> Next month, and then once a year, boo boo. I know, but then if it was every month, we would all age way too quickly. <gasps> Why well, I felt like she about to take some, you know, she took the pictures, right? She about to sell them pictures. Remember, she's a squid. She's never seen a land dog. Oh, shit. <laughs> she's seen a sea dog, but not a land dog. <laughs> Echo is me with my dog, or just dogs in general. Like, literally, I am like, check on the animal first, then the person second. Well, yeah, because you know this is this is feeling very similar to you know BDSM, you know, or you know how there are some people in the world, and I cannot believe there are people like this who put leashes on their kids, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> She did not just say that, did she? We imagine that, right?
<laughs> hey! <laughs> Almost everything. Yeah. Homegirl is over here like perfect and that means I'm in love with ink. I'm like, oh no. I'm scared. You know who she kinda sounds like? Little teeny tiny bit. She sounds like car just like uh Sakura uh, yeah. Yeah. Sakura from Car Cap to Sakura. She kind of sounds like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you found that. <laughs> No. Okay, like I need to get the hell up out of here. Well, damn, Echo, you taking Alex on a long ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you look so cute, though. <laughs> Put the tattoo! <laughs> kind of. You know that one anime that came out, I think, like, two years ago that I reacted to? Um, I think it's called Wonton Something... Something Angel. Something Angel. It, it was, like, um, uh, a girl who was in college who was very nervous to talk to people. She had a sister, and her sister used to call her Mianne and such. And her sister had three... Three or four friends, or several friends. My best girl out of the little kids was Noah. That was the blonde hair girl because I fucking loved her, and she was just like the moment, and she still is a the moment, and she was everything. But yeah, she kind of reminds me of another character in that same show who was obsessed with the college student girl, and it was so funny because like th this was when this damn show was airing. They did a collage. The anime did this big ass collage, right? And you know how sometimes they can have like a picture within a picture? So Miane was like the pictures within the picture. And it showed the girl who was stalking the shit out of her. And it was fucking hilarious. I still have that picture. And <laughs> if I find that ish, I'm gonna fucking laugh. It's like, it's been such a long time. Um, since I watched an angel flew down to me. There we go. There you go. That's the name of the show. With the <laughs> but yeah, she completely reminds me of the black haired character. Cause she'd be like, "Whoa!" Be like, "Honey, you got problems." But I mean, hey, she kind of also reminds me 
of um Choya Senpai from Oran High School Host Club where he's like very you know like oh hey you know we can take pictures of everybody and we can sell these and we can make money and so you know you gotta do whatever you gotta do to make money so you know hey go ahead and get your coin but I, I don't think that girl is gonna want to sell pictures of Inca unless Inca becomes like really really semi-popular in from now to the end of the series then yes um, I can see <laughs> that definitely happening because, of course, you know, you gotta make that moolah off of, you know, hey, merchandise of a child, in a way, slash animal. <laughs> but, like, can we just talk about Echo? Echo was over here like, yeah, she's gonna be okay with Inca, not the other way around, like, <laughs> Alex was adorable. I want more episodes with Alex the dog. Please and thank you, because puppy. When we have a dog or any type of animal in an anime, of course, those episodes are always going to be the best episodes because of the damn animal. <laughs> Except Full Metal Alchemist. We don't talk about that, okay? No matter how, how many, it's been like a hell of a long time, but we will never on this channel ever talk about Full Metal Alchemist. We're, we're not going to bring it up, so don't. We will never talk about that situation. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.